So we're going to look at uh, queues again within PHP MyAdmin to build out our SQL queries. And here we do have the ability to update, uh, update, update our values. Uh, so we can see that it's fairly straightforward where we're update, test, so selecting that table again, set, ID. So you don't really, you don't want to update your ID. So you shouldn't be doing that, but we can update the first name and I can change it to Mike. And I don't need to always update everything, although do I, I do have the option um, where ID and we need to specify what we want to update. So I believe our ID is equal to three. So I'm going to go ahead and see how that works out. So now when we browse over to our content, we should have an updated version. So this before was John, now it's Mike. And our ID is uh, three. So we were able to select that specific one. Uh, so this is the same thing. We can see those uh, queries there and how that's going to work when I update the value there. We see that we've got that exact same uh, SQL query right over here when we updated that name. So I can simply copy that out, go over to the console as well. We see that we've got it written out that same way. And instead of doing a delete, I'm going to do an update here. So maybe I'll comment out that delete. And SQL equals and now we're going to update it. So uh, same as same format as before. So selecting where what we want to update, and then uh, again setting the different uh, field values to new values. So I'm going to change it back up to first name Larry, and I'm going to make him 50 years old. Uh, where ID is three, and here it's again it's specifying the table, so you can do that. But by default, if you're updating uh, test, it should understand that this is the uh, ID that we're using from test. So let's see how this works out. I'll go back out to our SQL, refresh it, and now we can go into here, go into browse, and we can see that now this content has been updated. And so updating and deleting and manipulating that data, it's really straightforward and the format and if you're ever lost and don't know how to structure your SQL query, you can always go into PHP MyAdmin to find out more information. Uh, so I do need to add in some additional data here. So I'm going to quickly add in some random stuff here. And I'll add John Smith back. and go back over here. And the next lesson, we're gonna actually look at how we can order the returned results. And again, that value, we see that we've got that SQL there uh, that we can use. So showing you that in the upcoming lesson.